Do you have plans to grow your team next year? Or does the idea of growing your team and potentially employing people fill you with terror? I think I can honestly say this is one of the most head in the sand areas of business when I talk to people growing their own business. Um, what I come across a lot is people who probably know that in a few months time they're going to have to start thinking about outsourcing or hiring somebody or doing something different, getting some support. But right now they just say, oh no, it's, it's just too stressful. I can't bear to think about it now. I just don't want to actually have to deal with it. Um, and people will tell me I will deal with that when I need to. But the problem is when you absolutely need to deal with that is the moment that you've got more work than you can handle and all of a sudden you are spinning more plates than you can possibly imagine. And at that stage, then you're likely to make knee-jerk decisions, panic reactions, and it's probably not going to go that well. Um, so my advice to you is always to think about this well in advance. It's OK if you don't need to expand your team right now. It might be six months or 12 months before you need to do it. But the better prepared you are in advance, the simpler and less terrifying it will be when it actually happens. So what you want to think about are things like... What will be your route to expand your team? Will you outsource and use um, people like VAs or people who already run their own business? Will you use a freelancer, which is a slightly different concept, similar but different to outsourcing to VAs and people like that? Or are you actually interested in employing people in creating a job? Um, and there are lots of different pros and cons to each element of this. So you really want to think about how would managing the workload go in each of those arrangements? What are your thoughts around salary and costs of each of those arrangements? Because some of them, there will be things like holiday pay and others, there will be no holiday pay. Um, but also have a think about how you feel about being able to maintain the standards of work. Do you feel that would be different using a freelancer compared to somebody that's in-house? Think about the systems that you have in your business and how easy it would be to manage the workloads and maintain the standards. Does that lead you to a very obvious route at this point in time? Or does it even tell you that right now you don't have any systems? So if you're going to need to hire somebody in six months time, you better start preparing your systems right now. So um, there's loads of things to think about. It doesn't have to be stressful. But the crucial thing is the further in advance that you think about this, the better prepared you will be when it starts to happen. And you can also, if you're well prepared, you can start to ask some of your business friends about how they handle this in their own business. You can get tips from people about what makes it easier. You can even start to put feelers out and maybe test out um, a VA or a freelancer or different people so that when the time comes where you absolutely need somebody, it's not a sudden blind panic and, oh my God, what am I going to do about it? So the more prep and the more thought you put into this in advance, the smoother and the easier and so much more confident you are going to feel about it when this actually happens. If this is something you know you need help with, please do get in touch with me because actually helping clients particularly take on their first employee or expand their team for the first time is something I really love to get involved with. So if it feels terrifying to you, drop me a message, get in touch and let's have a conversation.